I learned how to make films by making films. And okay. uh, I made a bunch of short films. Uh, cool. I tried uh, different techniques uh, and I figured out my strengths and weaknesses. So my first feature away I made myself. So that was a big challenge uh, just in terms of the logistics and kind of uh, working on uh, that scale. But on Flow, uh, I was challenging myself by working with a team, which I'd never done, and, uh, and uh, challenging myself also with um, some very long uh, camera shots, very complicated choreography. Uh, like, uh, technically, we have water, which is very complicated to do in animation. And, uh, and that was a big challenge. But I think filmmakers should be afraid of uh, the things that they do and kind of pushing the boundaries so that they're not making the same thing over and over and they're coming up with something new. <laughs> I started making these films while still in school, in high school, and uh, Aqua was one of the big, uh, first big ones I made. It's a story about a cat who's afraid of water, but uh, it's also quite different from Flo, because uh, in Flo the main focus is really on the cat's relationship to the other characters, which wasn't in that short film. For me, I think I relate the most to the cat because uh, just like the cat, I had to learn how to work together with others while making this film. But I relate to all of the characters uh, and because uh, they're, all of them are kind of uh, looking for connection with others. They're looking for their place in the world. and um, So I think it's quite universal. Uh, we don't have any antagonists. They're all relatable. Uh, maybe the antagonist is just the nature. <laughs> Latvia is a pretty small country. There's only 1.8 million people. Mm. Uh, but considering how small it is, we have uh, quite a lot of uh, animation uh, being made. I've had some offers to work in like bigger American studios, but I think uh, by staying in Latvia and working independently with our own studio, we can uh, tell, tell more personal stories, we can be more experimental with the uh, techniques. And, uh, but it's also good to have co-producers in uh, France and Belgium, because uh, Flow is kind of a story about finding ways to work together and trusting others. So I think it's quite uh, appropriate for this film so we took the best of both worlds and uh, we had the freedom of making the film the way we wanted but we had a very strong uh, also uh, support from France and Belgium. Because it's a, it's a personal story, it's something that I understand which is uh, easier for me to talk about. Uh, if I had to give some lecture about some other subject mm. it would uh, be more complicated but uh, it's something that I've been uh, thinking about for years and years and, um, and uh, yeah, it's all, also I don't want to like reveal too much. I don't want to give answers to everything because sometimes in interviews or uh, Q and A sessions, I'm asked like about specific meanings, mm. but I want to like leave the audience uh, uh, actively participating. They have to think of uh, the the meanings themselves. So it's a little bit tricky of finding that balance of giving a satisfactory answer, but also kind of asking more questions than just answering everything.